Ohio. Now you can join the conversation on X using the hashtag Beyond 100 Days and at TVC News NG. Now we're staying with the Better Redo controversy where the suspended minister has been answering questions from investigators at the headquarters of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission a day after the president announced her suspension. Hello? Now, the Minister of Interior, Olubu Mitunjujo, had a private meeting um, with the president at the villa. No details um, are available, but some have told TVC News that this meeting is not extraordinary and no, uh, not out of the blue. Uh, but ministers can have meeting with the president and may not be disclosed. But this minister is one who has been linked with the suspended minister on allegation of fraud, who is now with the EFCC as a subject of investigation. Now, as journalists, we can add two plus two, and it equals um, four. Let's now go live to a correspondent who is standing by at the EFCC headquarters in Jabi Abuja, um, Jake Adesa. We'll also be joined by Femi Akonde, our State House correspondent. Um, let me begin with Femi. Femi, we know that at this moment um, there was a slash or a reduction in the entourage for federal ministers, ministers, uh, departments, and agencies. And also, um, Tunji Ojo was, as, as was at the villa today. Give us like a rundown and a breakdown of all of this. Uh, well, high pressures. Well, what um, raised eyebrows about um, the visit of the Minister of Interior, Olubomitun Jojo, was uh, because, you know, he's been in the news for uh, connection or for his involvement with a certain company uh, connected with uh, getting contracts from um, the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. And he has since come out uh, to also um, state, set the record straight to uh, explain clearly his relationship with that company. He says he has since resigned from that company and all of that. So he, that is why his visit to uh, the presidential villa today gave uh, several kinds of um, suggestions and there were different uh, innuendos um, attached with um, that visit. But it's not unusual to see ministers come to the presidential villa. They always get um, audiences with, uh, with the president. They usually come from time to time to bring the president on updates uh, in their ministry. And we also know that uh, Olubu Mitsunji Ojo has been doing um, so much in his uh, ministry, I must say, you know, especially with how he has been able to ease um, the whole um, issuance of international passport and he has also created a digital platform where Nigerians can go online you know without uh, the usual uh, bottlenecks and all of that to apply for passports uh, through a seamless uh, process and all of that uh, that was launched on Monday so we do not know if that was what he also came to brief the president on and we also do not know if he in indeed he saw the president because uh, earlier today we understand that the president was also a uh, engaged with some other activities, especially um, with ECOWAS, because we got that news from ECOWAS that uh, the military junta in Niger Republic uh, eventually agreed to release uh, the wife and son of the deposed president, Mohamed Bazoum. All of this is um, through um, the intervention of President Bola Tinubu as chairman of ECOWAS. So we uh, gathered that he was um, deeply involved with that um, negotiation earlier today. And it's also um, a victory for President Tinubu and indeed ECOWAS under President uh, Bola Tinubu's uh, leadership. So, you know, that uh, visit of Olubumitsu Jojo, um, really, for some people, is just uh, a normal visit of a member of the Executive Council coming to see the President uh, and uh, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. Uh, nothing um, extraordinary really attached uh, to that uh, visit. And then um, later in the day, you know, we had uh, the breaking news uh, in a statement or in a press briefing by the Special Advisor to the President of Media and Publicity, Ajuri Ngilali, uh, announcing that directive given by President Bola Tinubu, ordering, ordering a 60% uh, slash in uh, the size of the entourage of um, ministers, uh, heads of departments and agencies. And also, this also affects um, both the president, the vice president, the first lady, and indeed um, the wife of the vice president. Ultimately, for President Bolatinumbu's administration, 
this is a way to cut costs to reduce the cost of governance and also reduce uh, recurrent expenditure. He says uh, moving forward, his uh, government, his administration will be prudent and ensure a judicious um, spending of our taxpayers' monies. You know, he says, um, you know, all of these uh, large retinue of aids and that make up the entourage of um, government officials, appointed government officials, you know, most times country leads to um, wastages and all of that. And we know President Bola Tinubu right now, you know, with what has been happening, you know, is uh, I, with some directives we have seen, you know, everyone in his cabinet are beginning to sit up and tighten their belt and ensure that, you know, uh, they all focus on governance and, 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 and ensuring you know, that uh, the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Tinubu is indeed uh, fully implemented and the impact is felt by the people. Precious. And Femi, you know, it's very critical for the president to gain public trust at this time. So we'll see how Nigerians react to this um, drastic reduction of entourage. Thank you so much, Femi, for that update.